Loud 13 0 EG on Pearl, and this world class team did some crazy things to make it happen, like sending their Killjoy to entry on the site, lurking into the enemy spawn 20 seconds into the round, and what's Loud's secret to always greeting for space but never getting punished? Today, we're gonna break down exactly how Loud beat EG without losing a single round. So you're a jet main, you get into game and boom, someone instant locks your jet before you could. No worries, you think to yourself, I'll just pick my second main, Rain. Okay, well I haven't played Raze in a while. Can we get smokes? Forced to fill, but don't want to grief and lose elo? Don't worry, our sponsor Valent Tracker's got your back. They just dropped a new update, the Agent Select Assistant. Valent Tracker will now show your top 3 agents for your current map and game mode, so you'll always know who your best agent is. And for those times you're forced to fill, you can also filter by agent roles and the assistant will show you your top 3 agents for that role. And once you select an agent, you'll get access to even more stats. With that, plus the goldmine of stats on the app that you can explore later, you can start formulating your plan to improve and get to the rank of your dreams. So why wait? Download Valent Tracker for free today using my link in the description below. Loud open with 3B long and 2 shop. They want to execute a fast, clean B split. To support this play, they deploy this Viper wall B. What does this wall do? Well, if you're the defender on B site, most of the time you're probably holding B from either here, 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 or here. All solid standard positions. You can hold a B push while having cover to play around. This Halls player is in an especially OP spot since they can get free info deep into B long by safely jump spotting from this angle. Everything is comfortable and all good until attackers put up this Viper wall. Defenders can't see into B long anymore. So much info denied. This gives the attacker space to scale on their front sight and isolate the screen's angle without worrying about a crossfire from sight. But that's not all. This wall also blocks this street's defender's line of sight into mid doors, which gives attackers going through mid one less angle they need to worry about. Not only is this wall perfect for B splits, but the constant pressure it provides also opens up a ton of strategic options for Loud. But to unlock the wall's full potential, first, Loud need to make EG respect this wall, fear this wall. So they call to execute a decisive B split to kick off this match. But EG's got a little bit of a counter to Loud wall. It's this small little smoke here. Guys, size isn't all that matters, okay? This smoke, when popped, will block the attacker's line of sight into halls. This will let defenders shift between the halls and screens and creates a ton more off angles for them to use. But that smoke isn't the main focus of EG's setup. Look at the rest of the map. EG actually opened with a heavy streets in A main setup. This crossfire in streets is going to shred loud if they come through mid. Oh. EG's A players want to get early A main info. Demon 1 puts his turret at the choke to spot the attacker cross. They also place a deep Asher Star here to fake A main aggression to scare Loud a bit. So EG want control of streets in A main. Loud want to split B. Let's see what happens when these openings collide. The barriers drop, come fade eyes deep A main. The eye sees nothing, so Demon 1 pushes up to take the space. Com immediately begins rotating towards B. This is perfect for EG. Meanwhile, Loud rushed down B long. Sala kills your turrets out. This will detect any close defenders posted on them, to his harbor cascades forward. This gives loud cover to scale up belong without needing to worry about defenders posted on site. The cascade also lets them easily isolate and clear the close angles. Counting sky flashes pillar. Not defending. The sky flash detects someone. Someone could be playing close, so loud makes sure to clear it together. Jogomo responds with a harbor wall to slow down the push. Close is cleared. Keep holding W. In mid, Aspis and Les can hear Jogomo rotating away, so they begin lurking up. Jogomo is rotated onto B. Him and Boosty have called a double up hall. Ethan knows he's alone mid now, so he falls back to hold streets from a more passive position. Back B long, Loud still haven't let go of their W key. Kaunzin sky flashes through. It doesn't detect anyone. Sada goes through one wall. He goes through two walls. He's taking so much space. He's flanking halls. Back in mid, Ethan hears the cries for help. He rotates through spawn because that's safer. But Loud's mid players hear that. Les runs down streets to help with the execute, and Aspas decides to go hunting. Back on B, Busio puts up his Asher smoke. He's giving himself space to play with. Chaos ensues. Through into the back of the side and timing might be taken. A bit of running gun with a frenzy favored. Pushing forward, Jorgamo not wasted time. Wants to take another fight. Back horse was compromised. Spike still not planted though in the middle of all of this because Aspas is just waiting for that one. He hears it. Jet, the jet lurk. Yeah. Of course. As is usual. The jet lurk and the killjoy entry. 
And all the way from behind, Les is right there, ready and waiting to pincer. The jet lurk in the Killjoy entry. That is how Lau took the pistol round. Loud open with a 113 default. Here's how it works. Towards B long, Les is going to throw this Viper smoke. This smoke denies info from the defenders and they won't be able to tell how many attackers cross the ramp. So because of that, defenders won't know exactly where to pre-aim, making B long way harder to hold. In mid, Sadak is going to kill your turret out mid window. This turret will detect any defenders that push out mid doors or art. So this singular turret will hold all of mid control for loud. But in a 113 default, the real focus is towards a main. These three players want to take a main control, farm the orb, and then figure out what to do from there. As for EG, wait, where's EG? Oh my god. God, there's four EG players hugging the A main barrier. They're on a save round, so they want to group up in death squad A main together. Both teams want A main control. This is about to be an all out war. The barriers drop, both teams rush forward. Loud sky flash, EG countered with a dog. Fight to be taken. Loud stun, but Jogamo falls. They dodge a flash, mow down Ethan. Plenty of positions. Loud dog's the back. To try and play that anti -flash Bite. The swing. The quadruple swing. Loud, like a murderer of crows, tear EG uh, apart. A site is theirs. Wait, let's die in mid? It turns out while all hell was breaking loose a main, Les wanted to lurk into streets, and Bustio wanted to flank loud from mid. And Bustio takes down Les. Now, Bustio is in a 1v3 against Loud. They've removed that armor from Sadak in two years. Bustio being as low as he is, I don't think he's gonna be. <laughs> and Aspas close out the round with the game said spam. Loud win their anti eco round, just as expected. But EG is going to have a full buy next round, and that's when they're going to strike back. Loud just established their dominance towards A. Now it's time to do the same towards B. Loud open with a 3 2 0 default. They want to show presence B long, really make it seem like they're hitting B. They'll hopefully draw EG rotates and create an opening in the defense for Loud's mid players to abuse. Oh, well. As it turns out, not only is there an opening, there's a huge gaping hole in mid. EG open with a 302 setup. Their game plan is to seize belong control. But because they're investing more resources towards a site, they have to leave mid open. Will Loud realize mid is free? And if they do, how will they convert that space into a win? The barriers drop, both teams sprint up belong. EG harbor wall, sky flash, Loud's calling. They're pushing B long. Let's back off, back off. Heavy aggression B long means there's a gap somewhere else on the map. Without missing a beat, Loud's mid players immediately begin taking space mid. They're so decisive with this. They're eating up all the free real estate in streets and art. Back B long, EG hear Loud running away. So they're saying, hey, let's cut noise for a sec and then pop flash through. But Loud are like, wait, wait, let's stay posted. EG might push through their wall. Taking away that space from Loud. Respect shown here because they're all the way backing through. In fact, they're anticipating it. EG don't get anything, so they back off. Loud flashback to retake the space. EG are like, wait, wait, they're fighting back? Let's stay here for a bit longer. At this exact time, Sadak lurks through art and breaks EG's alarm bot while baiting out the Molly. EG realize, oh crap, Loud have people art. The B long fight was fake. They might be hitting A. So Jagamo throws a cascade to delay any lingering Loud players B long while EG retreat to work backspace elsewhere on the map. But look at Les. He's already all the way in EG spawn. It's barely 30 seconds into the round. Will EG expect this timing? The, the stack on B was so aggressive and Les, I'm behind him. Opened up, come. Huge pick from Les. A B defender just died. Loud's regroup B long already. So they call to speed up their B hit. But how long can Les hold out for? He know where to look and he still finds the kill. What? is going on now he's trapped so heavily but the rest of his team is trying to react off of it they think eg are going to be chasing less so we'll have space on b has to be a clear <laughs> how is less getting value from that position still the new was taken up but eg they want to take the fight to them them over two the gap though the dust settles it's a 2v1 in favor of loud the head off away from ethan v1 post plan on the bonus the spikes plan it out in the open loud could be playing from literally anywhere. Demon 1 need to clear so many angles. There's no 
Walk towards, no casual jaunt into the back of horse to see if he can catch that The one. trades are lightning. In Loud win their bonus round. This means EG goes bankrupt, while Loud economy is about to snowball out of control. Loud opening with a 1-1-3 default, same as round 2. Viper's gonna throw her smoke B long, Killjoy turret out mid. The rest of the team's going to take a main control. EG are on a save, so they open with all 5 players towards B. They're set up to mow down Loud if they decide to split B. And to bait Loud into going B, EG plays an aggressive Astro Star A main. The plan is, Loud's going to see the deep Astro Star, they're going to think, Oh god, EG are fighting A main together and then they'll rotate B, exactly where EG's stack will be waiting to pounce. Let's see how this round plays out. The barriers drop, Sadak turrets out mid. Les throws his smoke B long. Oh, silly me. Yeah. There we go. What the f*** am I doing? <laughs> Meanwhile, Loud's A players scale up. They're met with Ichi's deep Asher smoke. Now, Loud are a world-class team. They're experienced. Just because there's a smoke doesn't always mean defenders are using it. Luckily for them, they have an info agent. Kalanzine sky flashes through. The flash doesn't detect anyone. Loud are saying, oh, well, if this smoke is supposed to be a fake, that means Ichi are probably stacking B on their eco. So A should be free. So Loud called a regroup and run it down A. Let's make those plays by just lurking through into mid and Seeing if he can crack open a side or two, maybe even a couple of heads. A site is completely free. At this time, EG realized it's been too quiet. Ethan sky flashes deep belong. The flash gets nothing. Oh god, EG are thinking. Loud aren't B. We need to get back to A. So EG begin rotating, but it's too late. Loud are already running onto sight. Loud got a free sight, but that's not enough. They want more. As fast pops his dash, he's looking for eco. <clears throat> he's taking space for his team to push Loud's advantage. Aspas. Dangerous. Gets a kill, dashes away. Les is doubled up with Aspas, ready to fight with them to hold the space down. Meanwhile, the rest of Loud triple up in secret, holding down spawn. Give Loud a free sight, they're going to take even more. EG all regroup spawn for the retake. Safer than it seemed, so backs away that first player advantage. EG gonna be left wondering how do they want to play this one. There's honestly not too much value in taking away guns, close corner, up towards the box. A flawless round from Loud. EG couldn't even get close to the site. If you give Loud free space, they're going to take it. The secret to not getting punished for doing that? Take that space together. EG call a timeout. Alright boys, what's going on? Guys, listen, Loud always lurks through mid whenever we show a heavy B long or A main. So what if we showed presence in the extremities off the start and then stack mid to punish the mid lurkers? Ooh, you're cooking fam. Let's do it. Loud opening with a 3-2-0 default, just like from round 3. Except this time, they're adding a bit of a twist. We'll touch on that soon. EG start with a 2-0-3 spread, heavier towards the extremities off the bat. The barriers drop, EG fade eyes A main. I detect no one, A main is clear. So demon one pushes up to take the free space. Calm immediately leaves to stack mid. At B-Long, EG sky flash, harbor wall up. Then, they also instantly back off to stack mid. EG's game plan is being put into action. Counting sky flashes, flash attacks nothing. So loud walk up. Then, they harbor wall. This is a weird harbor wall. But it denies all all be long info from EG. While that's happening, towards mid, loud mid players scale up. They viper smoke streets, denying info from the deep streets defender. This threatens the streets lurk. Then they double up and begin working art. Oh, a lot of space towards B long. Seems to be the goal for them to try and end there, but you never know. Both cascades. They're making so much noise, trying to spam EG's killjoy util. And look, Loud's B players are just posted. Loud are purposefully making a ton of noise mid. They want to bait EG into pushing B long to get more info, and Loud will be waiting with a firing squad. This is so different from before. In round 3, when Loud first did their 3 2 0 default, they had their B long players make noise to set up their mid players to activate. Now, with the same opening spread, they're having the mid players make noise this time to set up their B long players for a pick. But unfortunately for Loud, EG won't be falling for the trap. They have four players towards mid. EG have their own game plan to stick to. Comprowlers mid doors. 
Midoriya is cleared. Les tries to lurk through art, but is stopped by a smoke and killjoy molly. All of EG's killjoy util art is gone. So Jagamo harbor walls mid. Loud's mid players are now locked out. But with so much happening mid, Loud's B long players are in a perfect position to capitalize. Loud put up their viper wall B. EG see that, they can smell a B hit coming. So Ethan and Jagamo called a shift on the site. An eventual B hit that might start to come through. Loud showed presence be long, but actually called to rotate A. And look, Loud's lurkers are slowly working up, holding space to set up an A split. But Demon 1 is anchoring down A main. This Killjoy versus Killjoy duel could make or break this round. The rest of Loud snake through mid. It's going to be an A hit through art with a late lurk A main. Just to the side of the box, but I've yeah, Demon 1 trail. knows that there's too much to watch for. Tries to... Reset the movement and the aim, just to take a better fight. Tadak, pushing forward, just boosting up. Reclaiming that space and territory, moving down now. That's a reckoning at their feet, and two years just leaping. Loud have the sight, but they know they don't have a main control since Bustio's there. That is scary. So Les takes space secret. But wait, there must have been a miscom. Les is completely alone with only 67 health. This is not good. Or just some of the way these loud players are playing, and this push from Les is even more so. Look at it, Ultimate breaks the dog, he's got no one else playing with him by the way. What? Les is insane! Loud take round 5. Loud opening with a 3-2-0 default again. It's working, plus the long range fights be long are good for Loud since they have a weapons advantage. Unless Ethan and his Marshall has something to say about that. <clears throat> EG opening with a 2-1-2 spread, a deep Asha star A main for a little bit of A main aggression. The barriers drop, Les throws his viper smoke streets, and Jagamo harbor walls shop. This wall threatens a mid aggression play from EG. It's so good. Oh wait, Sadok Sturt still has line of sight into all of mid. Towards B, Ethan scoped in, holding B along with his marshal. But Loud's harbor cascade completely denies him vision. That's why this cascade is so good for taking B long control. Loud scale up with the cascade. They put up the viper wall. With EG's attention, hopefully on B long, Loud's mid players activate on their lurk. But EG have the same idea. They're calling to do a push from art. Beat Fnatic lose to EG. If, <laughs> if we gave them the choice. Yep. Poison's off. Wow, the orb dropping down. Jogamo trying to reposition and making a ton of noise. That's Bustio. 4v3 in favor of Loud. It's there to back him up and does take out Sadak. Weapons drop down, but it feels just so well drilled from Loud once they get into Less wants to play close streets, so Loud call for everyone to play on site. It is that bread and butter of where you find the success from them. Time's running low, County doubles up with it less. Like it's loud. time to I'm hunt. Run away with this half. Of course. Just Demon 1 alone, he wants to save the rifle. On board for the next round, but all of the plans that EG have tried, thus far unsuccessful. Really what EG are going for. And Kalanzin ends him with a shorty. Loud take round 6. Man, it is so clear that Loud is abusing the living crap out of mid. How will EG adapt? You know what's been free so far? Be long and mid. Don't change what ain't broken. Loud open with the same 3-2-0 default. But this time, the goal is to make noise both be long and mid at the same time and see how EG responds. As for EG, they open- Wait! EG have one, two, three, four alts this round. They've got a pile of nukes to play with. How are they gonna use them? EG open with a 2-2-1 spread. It looks like a pretty standard opening so far, but what's gonna be their game plan after? The barriers drop, Sky Flash is instantly traded B-Long. At the same time, Loud sprints it up mid. Less Eagle swings mid doors, gets dinged, and limps away. Sadak showing a bit more present art. All this noise mid draws three EG players to mid link. EG are immediately stacking mid in response to Loud's mid noise. Jagamo harbor walls B-Long. Kowen Zane Sky Flashes B. Loud are also showing heavy presence B-Long, and EG can feel it. So they decide to play full retake B with their alts. Now, EG is responding accordingly, but everything comes with a consequence. Look, we're only 20 seconds into the round and EG have zero map control. Loud can basically do anything they want. They choose to regroup and execute B through B long. Sets Bustio on that angle and the killjoy utility is still holding down the A site to some degree. But it feels so retake heavy. They got alts for it. Got good alts for it. I am wondering what the extra level is for loud now here, waiting for that lockdown to come through, so 
Not overstepping themselves, not over peeking, but they are gonna have to play this post plant away from the site. I mean, the Vipers get dropped down, but it's a Cosmic Divide used. Now the hit starts to come through. Seekers as well. Pop Flash play denied any sort of info or gain. And as well as that, the lockdown. It's a heavy committal. Loud's Viper Pit is still up. No one can see. It's going to be a bloodbath. So they can still stay in this at the edge. Falls onto the back now. Util to try and clear it. I hate it when it comes down to this with these rounds. Spammed out all that post plan. Util running. Got him from Ethan. Even it out. But again, just spraying him through all the way down. What is going on? <laughs> Loud take round seven, forcing EG back on a save once again. Loud open with a 3-2-0 default. EG open with a 1-2-2 spread. Round starts, common demon one walk push A main. A main looks clear, calm rotates away. Demon one pushes further, gets punished by Sadak. At B, Busio tries to camp behind screens, but gets red and spammed down. Ethan gets picked off as he's shifting onto site. Loud get the spike plant. Jagomo and Calm double up for a sneaky flank, but little do they know, they're the ones that are actually getting pinched. EG have been right there and yeah. using fantastic utility to set themselves up for favorable fights to the point where the skill difference doesn't matter. Basically, since EG were on a save, everyone tried to make plays by themselves and Loud systematically took them out one by one. A flawless round from Loud. EG take their second and final timeout. This is their last chance to cook something up to turn this dire situation around. So uh, what do you guys think EG is going to cook up? Well, we've been winning B long and mid a lot, so I think they're gonna contest one of the two. Hey, if they're gonna take mid control, they might do this harbor wall. And if they do that, it'll block off our Killjoy turret. Hmm, okay, I'll have my Killjoy turret watching a main then. And since our B long defaults have been working, let's keep doing it. But let's have four players there this time in case EG decides to fight there. So Loud open with a 4 1 0 default. EG open with a 1 2 2 spread. They wanna prioritize locking down mid. And may as well take A main control too, since it's been free so far. Because they're investing more resources mid and A, their B player is alone. So Bustio buys an op to anchor down B long. The round kicks off, and a lot of stuff happens everywhere at once. Towards A, come Fade Eyes. A main and immediately shifts towards mid. The fade I sees nothing, so Demon 1 pushes up to take the free space A main. At the same time in mid, Jagamo harbor walls all of mid. Zalak places his alarm bot out in the open. Even sky flashes, the flash detects nothing. So EG know that Loud aren't doing anything fast mid, but they don't push out. EG don't want to overaggress. They just keep three players stacked mid, waiting for Lao to walk into them. At the same time, B long, Lao storms forward. They sky flash, cascade up. It's unplayable for Bustio, so he backs off. He sees that Lao have their harbor ult. He doesn't want to be stuck on sight when that pops, so he backs up to heaven to play full retake. So EG are stacking mid, they have a main control, and they have an up in position to safely get a pick and play retake on B. This is a solid start from EG. Stardust looking at the minimap. He's thinking, okay, so my Turret's holding the aim main push. My alarm bot will detect an art push, but there's a gap mid doors. EG could have pushed through there and into shop. Oh god, my teammates could be getting flanked right now. So Les separates from the group and looks back to clear shop with Sadak. All the noise B so far is also drawing Jogamo and Calm towards the site. Lao just cleared shop. They call to work even more space mid. Maybe hit EG with a late lurk. But Ethan's game sense is tingling, so he sky dogs mid. The dog catches Lust at the last second. At the same time, Loud activates B-Long. In this instance, this is their way to try and stop it. Pushes forwards, past it, it's a jiggle. On the movement there from two years. Two is Harbor Wall site. Jogmo Harbor Walls B long. B site is being wrapped like a burrito. Yeah, boy. Okay, Loud feel like they sold the B execute and they don't really feel like inting through EG's Harbor Wall. Plus, since they know that Ethan Skydog cleared mid and only saw a single player, they have a gut feeling EG still heavily shifted towards B right now. So Loud called to back off B long and end A. Look, Loud's lurkers are again perfectly holding the space for the team to safely transition into an A split. And once again, we're about to see a crucial 1v1 in A main towards less because demon one is holding behind this box and he's been doing this a ton yeah that's what he played this position once before Less trying to hard clear it off the turrets how did less win that a site is completely open for loud one wanted to try and take the fight off of it and that's it i mean demon one's favored but he doesn't get the kill it's another first death all of eg are retaking from spawn all of loud are front site playing for a main and art what can you pull together Loud set up with the post plan. That's a good answer. Pass pass falls, but casualty is on either side now. All gonna be placed down, and it comes down to the spam, doesn't it? Phantoms in their hands, right through the wall. Any sort of kills this way, that way. 
Like ships in the night just trying to vacate backwards and forwards. Still plenty of time here for Booster to maybe do something. Beautiful double post and Lao take yet another round. Lao noticed Jagamo's one off his Harbor Alt. The defenders have an easier time farming the A main orb than the B long orb. They also know EG like taking A main control every round. Loud wanted to deny the Harbor Alt from EG, so they opened with a 1 1 3 A main default. As for EG, they opened with three players on B site and two players art. Loud's B and mid conditioning is starting to work. EG are now terrified of B, and they're changing it up and are looking to hold art this round. Great adaptation, but Loud is one step ahead. They're going heavy. A main. They haven't done this in a hot second. And A main is right next to EG's open sight. But will Loud realize that? The barriers drop, Sada Killjoy towards mid. Last Viper smokes the B long cross. The rest of Loud sprint up A main. They flash A main. A main is cleared. Kaunzin farms the ult orb. In Nart, Demon 1 is pushed up, taking that space. He hears all the noise A main. So EG's B players begin rotating A. In mid, Les immediately regroups with Sadak after throwing his Viper smoke B long. Then, they instantly start walking up. Loud are calling to execute an A split. Their A main players have cut noise, waiting for their mid players to work up. EG notice it's gone quiet too, so their B long players double back to B. This is perfect for Loud. They're about to execute onto EG's weaker site. They're being avoided by Loud, and they're hunting for those dry duels. Loud's mid players are art now. It's time for the aiming players to activate. Loud deploys their harbor wall. This harbor wall is great for taking front sight control. It's also great for art pinches. But the downside to this wall is that they give up all the potential space back sight. With Loud's aiming players making so much noise, their mid players activate. Well, not gonna be set up as well. But they're spotted by EG's Killjoy turret. The jig is up, they need to speed up the execute. EG's B players are rotating fast. Now with the turret removed, there's no other util behind the demons up close. And personal trying to take the fight with a guardian. One for one trade. But EG's already here, ready to hold down the site. Oversteps himself. Biding his time there with Sadak. Haunt actually is quite nice there. That's gonna be some spam. And a kill onto two years, but Kama seen close and it's not cleared into the side still. 2v3, EG. It's the best opportunity they've had in quite some time. But Aspas, individuality. Here, yeah, potentially to stay down to that one on one is Kawasin versus Ethan. Top of the spike. Out the way, spam through the wall. Even a dog, no stun. Collected. Where is the opposition? Kawasin doesn't dare tap it, but he needs to force it. Ethan nowhere near. The reposition from him towards Flowers now, an opportunity to slow and throw it! And Kawanzin with the perfect crosshair placement takes down Ethan. Lao take round 10, but these rounds are definitely getting closer and closer. Last round, Lao took A main control, reminding EG that they still need to be scared of A main. Now it's back to B long. Loud open with a 4 1 no spread. They want to hard execute through B long this time, with Killjoy lurking. EG open with 2 towards B and 3 towards A main. This is because they notice that Sadak and Les are both one off their ults. Loud easily took A main last round and farmed that orb. EG want to stop that, so they call to fight for A main control. Unfortunately for EG, Loud are one step ahead. They're all on the other side of the map. The barriers drop, Loud stampedes down B long. Jogamo hears the stomping, he harbor walls long in response. Meanwhile, EG double push A main. They're holding that control. Sadak knows his team is sprinting it down B. He thinks EG might push through A, so he tucks into this corner. Back to B long. Loud is spamming through the wall, while Les silently creeps up. Dare I say impossible, because even when they're winning that first duel, in that one instance, it... Wait, he's staring at the wall. He must be admiring the stunning detail the artist put into this map. It was close, but... Oh no. Backs to each other. Less is in the corner. Tight play. The anti flash. Less completely read EG's play. At this exact time, at A main, EG double push up. One for one trade. Back B long. It's a 2v1. Kaunzin sprints at Khan with the shorty. Oh, it's Prowler in the face of Kaunzin. He's blind to it, but Khan backs away. So. Bit of restraint being, being shown. Come backs up to regroup with Bustio. The spike is not planning for B long. The site's too small. There's not enough space to play with. So Kawanzin and Tui's double up and push spawn. It's a battle of information for both teams. Who will find the other first? Cosmic Divide splits it up. That's a way. But guess what? The players are nowhere near. 
And they're going to expect this. It's not necessarily planned for them, but it is a spam ball. Angle, no one watching heaven. Top of the rifle and patience from two years. Fantastic positioning from Loud. They take round 11. The final round of the half. It's all or nothing for EG now. What's going to be the final strat for both teams? Loud opening with a 3-2-0 default. This is what's been working the best for them. Stick to what's working. EG opening with a 2-1-2. They see that Loud have Killjoy and Harbor ults. Playing on site is just asking to get flushed out. But EG also have a lot of powerful ults in their pocket. So their game plan this round is to show presence in the extremities, then slam Loud with their ults on their site retakes. How will Loud respond to this? The barriers drop, Loud run down B long. EG tries to counter Loud's Harbor Cascade by spamming through it. They don't get anyone, so they back off. In mid, Lust literally full sprinted down mid. Maybe just that mental block that's at the back of the EG. He's play. still going back for more. The aggression is insane. But look, Loud's B long players are rotating A. Loud's game plan was to fake a B split and end A. But did Lust overcommit on the mid fake? Grand opportunity to close this out in two. Made a good attempt of bringing it all the way back into Haven. This fight, Bustio swinging wide. Jogomo with a double kill to punish. EG up 4v3. Jogomo checks B long. Nothing. Were the mid players just a fake? EG need info ASAP. So Ethan pops this guy out. Loud are still rotating to A. 2A main, Kaunzin's late lurking mid. But now that Ethan uses Sky out, Kaunzin's role has changed. He's not a lurker anymore. He's the distraction. He breaks the sky ult mid. EG turns around for a split second, but to his harbor ult A at the exact time. So EG keeps rotating A. Reckoning though, is gonna be cleaving and clearing all the way into the back of the side. It's the final round of the half. It needs to be big. Calm fade out off the Killjoy turret, detecting two players. So now EG know Loud's third player was the one who broke the cabbages mid. They're looking sewers, aware of a potential lurk. But Kaunzi knows that's the obvious play. So he's taking the long way around and regrouping with his team through A main. As pass into his need to play it slow and buy time. But EG are already here. They're not going to play to Loud's pace. They harbor alt. As pass deafened. No sound cues available. Reckoning now as well. He's forced back. This is good util to push him out. 4v2 in favor of EG. This is the round. Now the two-player advantage, moving forward here, Kawazin, fight one, fight I taken, three groups up, wider swing indeed, no. he's stepping away, Remaining. not like this, Last not like standing. this, and again dropped into that one-on-one. -on -one. Down to Kawazin versus Ethan, at the A site, again, this is just like round 10, who will win this rematch? Spike off to the back, Kawazin has to reclaim it, Ethan, 11 health. Left. Last time Kawazin read the reposition incredibly well. Taps it. Baiting out the fight, Ethan. He's granted a grand opportunity. Dog. Jumps forwards. No clearance. Creeping, crawling all the way up. Spike planted over the top. Fully blinded up. Oh! And Kaunzin takes down Ethan. They can't lose! The mind games there was crazy. It's down to a 1v1, but Kaunzin needs to grab the spike from a main. He crosses. Ethan pulls the trigger. Kaunzin now knows where Ethan is. Without missing a single beat, Ethan instantly repositions and loops around from sewers. This decisiveness is going to give Ethan an incredible, unexpected timing. Kaunzin grabs the spike. Fake taps to bait out a push from Ethan, but Ethan hears a spike tap from mid connector. So now he knows exactly where Kaunzin is. He knows he's safe to run for a few seconds to get an even better timing without Kaunzin hearing him. Kaunzin taps the spike again, checks left this time, doesn't see Ethan flower. If flower's clear, then Ethan could have gotten a timing through secret just now. So Kaunzin tucks into default and dogs secret, but Ethan's actually lurking up behind him. Time's running low, so Kaunzin plants a spike. It's been very long. He knows Ethan could be walking up art now, so a sky flashes high. Beautifully played by Kaunzin. And the thing is, if Ethan was a second faster on the loop, he would have actually caught Kaunzin there with his flash out. These rounds are coming down to the slimmest of margins. Both teams have swap sides. It's a new half, but EG have zero breathing room because it is match and series point for loud. EG need to get at least a round. Anything's better than losing 13-0. I mean, just imagine what the Reddit frogs are gonna say. But look at this. There has never been a 13-0 in 
any of the VCT International Leagues. If Loud win this round, if Loud take this victory 13-0, they will be the first team since franchising to do so. With so much on the line, what will these teams do? EG open with 3 mid, 2 A main. They want to execute an art heavy A split. But wait, does Loud have the read? Loud open with 4 players A side. They have 3 players ready to fight for A main control. They're going to be attacking the weak side of EG's A split. This is the perfect read from Loud. I gotta see it, right? History about to be made. I don't want to prey on the downfall of the EG players, but... Loud have been in control this entire time. Loud farms the orb after taking a main control. EG's a main players are pushed all the way back. Their mid players were playing it slow at the start. Now they activate. Ethan dogs art. To his response by harbor walling all of mid. Both times. So history is not on our side. To see the 13 0. The dog missed the less, who's camped in his smoke with a shorty. But EG aren't going in there. I mean, why int through a smoke when you don't need to? Calm and Jogba know that they left B long open at the start. They know a loud player could be pushed through. So they're slowly re clearing that space. While EG are playing it slow, loud are cooking up a read. Four players caterpillar through mid link. They think EG are going to hit B. Loud are going all in on this read. Five stack B. You just don't see comebacks from this position. No. Close to the double doors here. Shorty in hands. EG cleared chopping club. At B long, they harbor cascade, fade prowler up. But the spike is art. EG are faking B and ending A. With noise being made B long, Boostio looks for a lurk timing mid doors. But is this a door you want to open? Any sort of lurk timing. Now the spike is actually leaning a different direction, but Boostio... Boostio gets a shorty to the face. Less runs to regroup with the team B. But EG aren't there. They're already working towards A. Lao now notice it's a little too quiet. So they send out the hound for more info. B long is clear. They immediately begin rotating A. But EG don't know that A site is clear right now. They're diligently clearing every single angle. Are they going to be too slow? 35 seconds left. There's no urgency from EG, is there? They just are still making sure that they clear all of this, and you can feel that hesitation in their play. Left. 29. Dropping down, but a spike's gonna be planted without. <clears throat> Loud have two art, three spawn for the retake. While EG's regrouping on site, Demon 1 is holding a deeper angle. Side by side, shoulder to shoulder. Kawazin taking that first fight. Tuiz was using. Huge pick by Demon 1. 4v4 now. EG immediately regroup art. Tuiz is about to find himself in a 3v1. And at the same time, Joggable is hiding in a cheesy pocket, surrounded by loud. Trying to close this one out. Right here, right now. Jorgamo's in a close call. What? This is unintended. Two years has got one. Jorgamo! Oh, doesn't win this one! Sadak and Les. And Ethan. To deny the humility. He's got to win it out now, but so difficult, so damn hard, and it's the 13 0. And that is how Loud made history as a first team in the VCT leagues to pull off a flawless 13 0. Like and subscribe for more.